So, welcome everyone to the karting blog. We are now going to K1 Speed in Ontario for the karting championship held today on May 9th. So, we just figured out my brother reaches 58 inches. He can do the big track now. Not in the races, for the monthly races, because he already started the junior one. But now he can practice with me and Aiden here on the big track. So, we'll see how that goes. suited up, I look funny, but I'm gonna get in the next race with my brother. Uh, it should be fun. So here we are in the pit lane getting ready for our rolling? formation lap. And I go ahead and ask if my camera's rolling. I was using the GoPro for the first time, so I was kind of nervous uh, whether or not it feels recording or not. But as you can hear, my steering wheel is squeaking there quite a bit. It doesn't really affect the performance, but you can definitely notice it. Uh, going off for our formation lap, I was trying to get those fronts as warm as possible uh, for turn number one. It's a long right-hander, so that tire temperature is very important. Uh, I qualified P2 for this race, so I'll be starting on the inside for turn number one, which isn't actually the, the worst place to be. Uh, we just have to get a good start. So, yep. You are lining up for the grid position. He's going to get everyone else to line up behind us. Uh, I sped this part up a little bit just so we don't have to wait too long. I was there setting up some settings on my Apple Watch. I like tracking how much calories I burnt doing kart racing. But anyways, we're officially set here. He's gonna go grab the green flag. start so I had to go right behind him. Couldn't get the inside line. Uh, my rears are a bit unstable there but we're still hanging on to him. Uh, I talked to Aiden who's in front of me right now after the race. He said his car had a lot of understeer so he had a lot of trouble turning on the right handers as you can see right there. I got a much better exit than him uh, so already quite close to car number 28. Now we have both two different approaches to this line. He goes uh, a little bit more inside for the turn one while I take the kind of more momentum line and go from the outside to the inside. Which both are fine, especially in these carts, but uh, for him it wasn't the best because his cart didn't have the best right hand turns. Now here we go, you see he had a really bad exit again, so we're right up on the inside. Uh, where I do leave him some space, but I tapped him a bit, had a little bit of oversteer there, perfect switcheroo right alongside him, but because we have a long right-hander, right didn't really help me. But trying, trying to stay as close as I can to him throughout all these corners. As you can see, he has trouble again from this last corner. I got a superb exit, and now right alongside him. As you can see, we're having a you know pretty good battle here in the first early stages. We both go a little bit white there, a little bit wide, and uh, he does hit the barrier. As you can see, I gained so much more speed taking that right-hander much more closer uh, to the barriers. But, as you can also see, I am Lewis Hamilton in 2022. I've got a car that has a lot of porpoising. You know, it's just uh, the ground effect here with this K1 you know, speed carts. Some of them don't have the right balance, and the right measurements in some places, so... You just start hopping, like right here, for example. Let's see. Not the worst, but still, it's there. Still in P2, trying to look for that overtake. Uh, on Aiden, he does get another bad exit, we get a bit closer. But yeah, I can't seem to get him in turn number 1, because if I have the inside line for turn number 1, then I have the outside line for turn number 2. As you can see, I do give him a little nudge there, because I'm like, man, I can't overtake him at all. Uh, you know, we have good protection for these parts, so I know one little nudge won't do anything bad. Uh, yeah, I keep trying to find that, oh, he had a really bad exit here, so I get right up alongside him. So we're like, man, I'm putting my cart here, he's not doing anything. Break a little bit more early than him, that does help me, but still, 
gave him a little nudge here because I thought he would leave the space, but he didn't. Which is it's all fine. Good friends, but I had a little room here, but I didn't quite make it. Uh, I think I went here on the inside. Yeah, I make it the inside, leaving some space. Now this is one little part where I kind of was not fair. I didn't cut him off, but uh, last week or last month when I did this race, I also did that move on him, and he did let me go through in front. But in this case scenario, I think he was a bit too much. Alongside of me, I should have let him through, but as you can see now, we're in P1, still with the porpoising car. But uh, we do fend off this pretty one, uh, big P1, pretty good. I got a defensive line right here, uh, but I'm not going as wide as Aiden, so we're doing better. As we're on lap, I believe nine or ten out of fourteen. Uh, we've got a couple more laps to go. Card's not dying out, which is pretty good. I'm trying to keep the best lines as possible, but still, my car is bouncing a lot. Which actually, at the time, I did not feel it was a big hazard. Let's say I go defensive again with the line. Aiden is still behind me. But I think I start to bring a gap here uh, during these last few laps. What I will say is this track is pretty fun. Uh, definitely the first corner and the last corner are the pretty much the deciders on how your lap time is going to come out. If you mess up both of them, uh, yeah, your lap time is going to be trash. You can see there I had a bunch of oversteer, went into the corner way too hot, but was able to correct myself. Still in P1, and I think it's still close behind, but he hasn't gotten moved on to overtake me yet. You can see I do go a little bit more or less defensive. But it does give me a little nudge there in the back, so he's still right along my tail. But I do get a better exit than him, so he cannot overtake me on the straightaway. I do take that line a little bit wide, but I didn't really affect anyone. And we've got two more laps remaining here. Best turn one I've done so far during this whole championship race. And as you can see, I did build a bit of pace between me and Aiden, so I was taking that line a little bit less defensive, trying to go for the full. Uh, you know, there is our last lap flag, so I was like, come on, one more lap. I think I got this in the bag. Uh, Aiden's part wasn't doing too well, and now he was actually fighting for P3. So I was pretty much on my own here in the front, trying to separate myself from the pack on the last lap. Now here what happens is Aiden does get tagged by P3 and P4, and he has gone from P2 to P4, unfortunately. But I have won the race, I've gotten P1 in the race, everything is good on my side. Maverick comes in second, uh, I believe a guy named uh, Noah comes in third, and Aiden unfortunately comes in fourth as he got spun on the last corner. Which, you know, it's racing, it happens. Uh, but yeah, there we go, we got our P1. And uh, yeah, what a great race. It was very hard, very energizing for sure. I was sweating a lot after. Uh, so was Aiden, we were both having a great fight for P1 in the beginning. But yeah, we came home to P1, which is a great result. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed.